Oh, hey YouTubes, what's happening? Welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. I'm Arabin and hey, I'm glad you're here. There's an airplane going over. I hope you can hear what I'm saying. Well, it's been very windy today. I put making this video off as late as I could thinking the wind would die down. So I hope that the wind noise doesn't affect the video audio quality. Today I'm smoking this little basket pipe. I don't know anything about it other than it was uh, made in Italy. Got it out of a basket at my local tobacco merchant. And inside I'm smoking a tobacco called Merchant's Choice, which they blend from my local tobacco merchant. But anyway, this video is a video response to an open tag that Ron over at Kwood Survival put out. If you haven't checked out Kwood Survival, I recommend you do so. He is a great guy and he does some great videos. You will love him. So go check out Kwood Survival. It's right here. I'll put a link in the description section. Anyway, uh, his open tag was uh, for us to tell you what is our favorite budget fixed blade knife. And as soon as I saw this video, I'm like, oh man, that's right up my alley. Because you guys know I'm all about budget gear. I don't believe in spending a lot of money for name brand items because of the name brand. Nothing wrong with that, but that's just me and how I roll. And again. So, I uh, have a lot of budget knives. Again, that's how I roll. But, I thought about this, and the first thing that came to mind was a hey, budget fixed blade. It's got to be a Mora. Everybody knows about Mora. They're made in Sweden. They're very du durable, they're very dependable, they're very sharp. Comes in a nice hard case. Uh, comfortable, dependable, affordable. But while I have five Mora knives, when I think about my favorite fixed blade budget knife, Mora is not what I would choose. Although, like I say, I have about five of them. This is a carbon. And the only thing bad about it is with the ferro rod, nada. So, it wasn't really hard for me to determine what is my favorite budget fixed blade knife. The hard part for me is which of the two that I have remaining are my favorite. And they're both by the same company. You've probably heard me talk about Elk Ridge knives in some of my previous videos. I love Elk Ridge knives right now. They're my favorite. I went through a case stage. I went through a Gerber stage. Right now, I'm still on my Elk Ridge stage and have been for quite a few years. And of my Elk Ridge collection, again, I have maybe six that I can think of right off the bat. I narrowed it down to two. And the first one is the Elk Ridge Bushcraft knife. I don't know the model number, but you can see right there. What I love about the Elk Ridge knives is, first of all, they come with leather sheets. Let me put this pipe down. They come with leather sheets and pretty good quality leather sheets. Not some crappy little 
flimsy leather sheaths. The stitching is very good. The seams are very good. Good quality leather sheaths. But this bushcraft knife, I like the size of it. It's not too big, but it'll get things done. The thing I like about the Elk Ridge knives, look at the size of that tang. Full tang. I don't know how thick they are, but you can see. They're very durable knives. They come very sharp out of the box. The fit and finish is perfect. I've never bought one of these knives that has rough seams. Everything is smooth and fit and finish is ideal. They come out of the box very, very sharp. They're easy to keep sharp. They're 440 stainless steel. So the maintenance on them is not that bad. They've got nice lanyard holes on them. I'm not a lanyard guy on my knives, but I love the heaviness, the durability, the sharpness, um, the fit and finish. I just love everything about Elk Ridge knives. When I first thought about doing this video, I'm like, well, what does budget mean? That's going to be different for different people. For me, if I'm talking about a budget knife, I'm talking about 20, 25 bucks and under. That's what I would consider a budget knife. Of course, the Mora and these Elk Ridges do fall under the $25. But this Bushcraft Elk Ridge is really nice. I carry it a lot. It's proven the test of time. But my favorite budget fixed blade knife is an Elk Ridge, but it's this Elk Ridge right here. Now, I don't know what you would call this style. Somebody let me know what this style of blade is called. But again, look at that tang. Full tang. Beautiful wooden handles. Again, stainless steel, 440 stainless steel. But I love the design of this knife. The functionality of it is very good. It's very comfortable, very well made. Again, very sharp. And with the ferro rod, lots of sparks. So this knife is my favorite fixed blade knife at the time. As far as... This is my choice for my favorite fixed blade budget knife. Hey, Rod over at Kwood Survival is the one who started this tag, and it is an open tag. So I'm going to leave it open as well. I'm not going to tag any particular people. But I would love to get your feedback. I would love to know what your favorite budget fixed blade knife is. I'd love to see you do a video about it so I can see it. But if you're not going to do that, at least go down to the comments section here and let me know. I'm curious to see if anybody's going to say anything other than Mora, because I know Mora is probably going to be everybody's first thought when you hear budget fixed blade. And I'm not knocking the Mora. Like I say, I have five of them, but I myself prefer the Elk Ridge. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed to Urban Outdoors, what are you waiting on? And if you have, make sure you give me a thumbs up leave some comments and share well I'm gonna get back to my pipe I hope you guys had a safe happy New Year's Eve I hope you're not too hung over and I hope you got home safely and I hope that this year has started well I already had some collards and fat back and black-eyed peas and cornbread we were sick of ham and turkey. So in addition to the rice and maters, collards, black eyed peas, fat back, cornbread, we added bratwurst on our menu today. I'm so sick of ham, y'all. Anyway, that's all I got for you today, guys. I appreciate you coming along on Urban Outdoors. And until next time, keep calm, carry on, keep puffing, and keep it outdoors.